वेलकम टू आई टी एस पी टेक्नोलॉजी माई नेम इज विवेक दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ लास्ट सेशन कंटिन्यूएशन तो दिस इज अवर चैनल दिस इज अवर चैनल दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो अंडरस्टैंडिंग जाओ वेरिएबल्स लाइक स्टैटिक instance and local variable we have understood if no one uh, anyone want to see that go and check this video okay so now let's start just first recap we cover literals string literals floating point literals boolean literals collector literals string literals okay and binary literals also we have and also we have she i we have learned about uh, arrays introduction the array why we need array what is the requirement array declaration okay single dimensional array declaration two dimensional array declaration we have seen and three three dimensional array also we have seen and array constructions how to construct the array multi dimensional array creation array initialization array declaration construction in a single line also we have seen. length versus length method also we have learned anonymous array we have learned anonymous array like nameless array jiska koi name na array element assignment and array variable assignment we have and last the type of variables which type of variables we have currently like primitive type and reference type reference is nothing but the object primitive is nothing but a predefined class like in like that and we have a three based on uh, the the use of based on the requirement based on the used we have three type of variable like instance variable static variable local variable okay where we use instance at the class level static we use the static keyword to use that and instance variable is varied from the every variable like every instance instance variable is varied one copy to another very copy and static variable is create only single copy local variable it's only in the local scope so these things we have covered the utilization utilized arrays utilized array so let's go over topic array and the type we have seen and also mm -hmm. so now this is the conclusion last session conclusion and once i want to repeat this then go further okay for the for the static and instance variable it is not required to perform initialization explicitly why because default initialization is there jvm will provide okay for every object for every object separate copy of instance variable will be created separate copy will be created whereas for the entire class as a single copy of static variable for the static variable only one copy of is created but the instance is separate copy for every object for every thread separate copy of local variable will create instance and static variable can be accessed by multiple thread simultaneously right thread are not safe for because multiple thread can access simultaneously na so it's thread not safe don't uh, worry about threads when we discuss threads and i will teach if you are not declaring any modifiers if you are not declaring any modifier explicitly then it means it's just default modifier the rule is applicable only for static and instance variable not for local variable so now this is the utilization of array uninitialized array uninitialized array so let's start this is total practical session we have first i will explain here then go inside the id then so uninitialized array means initialization is not there inside that this type of array 
this type of array you can call uninitialized array so here we declare an array like this okay this is the instance variable instance variable you can say create a one thread create one class object and if you want to print t1.0 then it null well, because in the object when we array in the java is object and by default is null so it will print as null so let's see i will show you the example okay let's open our id next example let's see instance level right a is instance level here instance level this is instance level It's open. Let's go. Last class examples. Create one class array. With main method I want clear. Okay. Create one declare one array. A. Just this. Create the object like array test, array test at equals to new array test, right? If you sys out and at dot a like that, if you want print, then you can see then the Java application here you will get null value because in Java. In Java, instance variable well, distance variable niche initialize with the default value by the JVM. JVM will slice the default value and in java in java every <clears throat> array array is the object so object default value is null so that's why it's null so now null point recession if, if you this out 80 dot a of zero any thing is there inside the but no, no, so it will give the run point interaction. Like so, we have seen an initialized array. This is not initialized. So now, if you if you can initialize that array like that, you can do this. So you equals to new int of three. Like to whatever you want, you can add it. Now let's see what happened. Right now you get this and zero position having zero no element. If you pass that element, how you can pass that element? Like a of zero equals to two. Now let's see here. Here you can see here you cannot a is deleted this token a of like that here you can inside this a of 0 equals to 2 
but but here you can get it. This is the static area. This is the no. So, but last session I have told you by using eighty dot like that you can cancel, right? Here and run this. Now your two will get. Let's see here we can slide or not inside the first position. I want <clears throat> at three. <clears throat> yes. Here you can see that so many errors will come because this is the instance level. You can just declare that not initialize. So this is the way to initialize that. Okay. Now coming to the next example. The static level. This is the instance level. Now next is the static level. So example. We declare a static variable by using a static keyword. Then if you want to print, then it will also give a null. Okay. And if you print a of zero. Same example is there. Not required to. We declare as the array. If you declare as the int, I'll show you. And if you declare as a int b like that, then if you want to print this, then right now, what is that output? If anyone know, please comment that. Post the video and comment on the. Video description, you can comment in the comment box. So, here you can be just print that B, not this declaration. Now, here why it's giving error a dot B, right? So now, here is zero will come why because this is zero, default value is zero, but this is the object in the Java. So that's why it's what we see. Up to this, it's clear. Now, we clear one a static array, a static in array of C equals to new int just three or like four, whatever you want, you can declare. Without that, you can also. Perfect. C. Suppose this is the static, so not required. This out, not this out, and uh, this out. Just using by using class, also you can access array dot array test dot c, right? You can or you can test out. Or you can no no yes this out by using directly C by using variable name you can access out means this out just for understanding purpose and dividing basically. What is that output? Both the output is null. Why? Because it's not initialized. So null we getting. Now use one more static int c d equals to new int and pass the variable size like two. It was four, five, five. You can pass five. And then let me print and initialize that one. Print this uh, out this out okay this out d I think array test dot d using class name you can access the static variable or by direct you can access this out and d now let's see what is that output? Now we will get default. Object is printing. Now I want to initialize something here. Zero. Slice. 
this is two when no? control z no no control y y y okay just copy this and paste it and remove this now let's see here we will zero i want to initialize some value here is the initialization happen or no let's see to print yes you can get it the initialization happening inside this zeroth position perfect up to this is clear up to this it's clear now example two we have seen the lack practical now this local level array this int uh, 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 this int array int you can declare inside the method block or method block constructor also inside the constructor you can declare this so let's group this this how not this out or it and this out this out okay this out here local level just local level static level we have seen instance level we have seen so just create one int array a like this then if you want to access this a a, a so a is not a duplicate why because this is scope is only method table not outside of this method so this is one more point the next is local variable is first priority in jvm it will search inside the local so it will give to local priority first so now a now it will get error why right? this is the initialization level local variable may not have been initialized so what is the point when we use local variable when we use local variable you should initialize that okay you should initialize that you should right let's give it so now this is as thing so it's clear no. this point i have to give it to you perfect example two is local level is completed okay so now once we create array every element always initialized with default values once we create an array every element is always initialized with default value irrespective of whether it is static or instance or local array okay. every variable in java inside the array you dig if you got confused so here this is the initialization but if you print sop one more sop you want print like a of zero then what is the output here you will get zero by default it is zero a of zero will get by default is zero that's why this point is there that's why it's this point is there that's why okay this point is not this point the practical you want this to it just i want to write this line nothing else yeah. So, print A of 0. And let's see. Get 0. By default, it's 0. It's not required to. Like this is the static variable, local variable. No. Once we create an array, every element inside the array 
initialize with the default value right so perfect so every so kuch bhi ho usme every variable in java should be either instance static or local in java mein khali teen hi cheez honge ya fir lok instance variable hoga लोकल वेरिएबल होगा या फिर स्टैटिक वेरिएबल अदर देन दैट यू कैन नॉट ओनली थ्री स्कोप एवरी वेरिएबल एवरी वेरिएबल इन जावा शुड बी आइदर प्रिमेटिव और रेफरेंस्ड वी हैव सीन प्रिमेटिव और रेफरेंस ओके हेंस द फॉलोइंग आर वेरिय पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन फॉर वेरिएबल इंस्टांस वेरिएबल कैन हैव रेफरेंस्ड और प्रिमेटिव ओके बोथ स्टैटिक वेरिएबल आल्सो कैन बी प्रिमेटिव कैन बी इंस्टांस लोकल वेरिएबल आल्सो कैन बी इंस्टांस हो सकता है कैन बी रेफरेंस वेरिएबल होता है लोकल वेरिएबल कैन बी रेफरेंस मींस हैविंग द ऑब्जेक्ट प्रिमेटिव मींस हैविंग द वैल्यू राइट लाइक प्रिमेटिव प्रिमेटिव लाइक इंट a equals to ten and reference means uh, student yes d d equals to new student like that got it so now here this is the instance this is the class of instance reference instance reference you can see this is the static permitive this is the static permitive this is the local reference right what is our point so now what is the permitive combination instance can be permitive can be referenced permitive is declaring and initialized with the some value and the in reference is initialized with the object so vergar method so this is the very very important introduced in 1.5 version vergar vergar method like dot 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 three dot it's related to array theek hai so now until 1.1.4 1. version we cannot declared a method with the variable number of argument if if there is a chance in number of argument compulsory we have to define a new method right this approach increase the length of the code and reduce the readability readability is the reduce and length of the code will improve by if you are declaring a method like name and all this thing but from 1.5 version onwards we can declare a method with variable number of argument this type of method are called varar methods where Var arg method, var arg methods. So we can declare var arg method like this, like this three dot implies three dot like int dot 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 x like that. Yeah, th three dot is compulsory. If you taking four, it will not accept. So we can. we can call or invoke this method by passing any number of int value including zero also like that this is the example like here we have public static void method one like that where our method int dot dot x inside the x system dot 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 print ln where our method this is the public static void main method here we call method 1 2 3 here is the you can see suppose 
I want to this method call 10 times with the 10 different argument. So you can declare with the var method, right? Like this. Let's see. see the example. Now Java class well, org org test with the main method finish. Now declare one method public <clears throat> public static wide where arg method like int dot 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 if like that any variable you take then sys out just write this is where arg method you can just mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. passed you can call you can pass you can pass any number of argument perfect so now here you can just uh Static. This is the static, no? static keyword we use. So inside the static area, we can act by using class name or without using class name. So here you can use inside the class. Don't want to use class. So where our method passing here nothing. Okay, where our where method passing like 10 and where are and third passing like 10 comma 20 and where are third passing 10 comma 20 comma 30 and number of months can pass it just try to run it java application now here you can see four time is calling what time method I'm calling? What time to do? No, this is the very odd methods. So, this is the example. Some point I want to tell you internally. What is the internal of this? So, internally, where are parameter implemented by using single dimensional array? What is the internal? Single dimensional array well, because inside the array you can take na, a number of things that's it. within the vergar method where are methods where are method we can differentiate argument by using index index by using index we can differentiate so this is the example so here we have an static sum method. So passing the x and passing that value and I want to sum that value and print that sum. So here I start with 0 and x dot length. How much length is you are passing? That length is iterating and I plus plus and total x of I it and just out of the loop, the sum of total you can print it. Let's see. Let's build this example here. Public static wide sum int dot dot passing sum out the sum number. Okay, perfect. Here. Uh, just taking some no? int total equals to zero initialize with the zero for loop int start with a zero and number dot i less than 
नंबर डॉट लेंथ कॉलम एंड आई प्लस परफेक्ट एंड टोटल इक्वल्स टू ऐड इनटू द टोटल दैट नंबर टोटल प्लस प्लस नंबर ऑफ आई एंड ऐड इट इनटू दिस एंड सिस आउट जस्ट प्रिंट द सम सम ऑफ सम ऑफ नंबर प्लस लाइक सो नाउ कॉल दिस मेथड टू And sum we pass one comma two comma three. Let's see. Here you can see now that's the example up to the three. Okay. Now here you can see first is zero. It's printing first time it's zero. Nothing else. Second time is one and second time is one or two is three. One or two is three. Three three six. Perfect. It's working great. Right. So, output. Now, next example here. The test is class is test. Class is test. Some method with the varar method. Varar method. This is the varar methods. So, total we declare as the zero. This is the for each loop. By using for each loop, also you can do this. Like this, if you uh, want, I can show you. Copy this method. Not required to sum with for each. For each loop is the advanced loop. So just what is that? Just int like number. Here is the numbers, right? Here is the numbers. All are numbers. Numbers array. You can see here. What is the return type of int array? Here you can see that. That's it. So here you can just add a number or the array. This will also work out. This out and here just do one more line. All this method with nothing. A sum with number of argument first is one. You can pass sum with one comma two comma three. Now sum with One comma two comma three comma five, like that. Just print that. Yeah, first is calling zero. Second is one, six, six five eleven. Exactly, it's working fine. No, sum is completed, right? So now some cases are there you can identify and post that. This method is valid. Valid. This method is valid. Is valid. You can use this like this. But this can also is valid array. Same like array. But after the x you cannot declare, and space is also not allowed. This is invalid. This is also invalid. Not allowed. Case two. We can mix varar method with the general parameters also. 
general parameters also we can like that if you want to pass any other parameter you can like starting and ending that's not a invalid case so case number three if we mix varar method parameter with the general purpose then varar method should be in last last parameter if you declare in that it will give an array right now case i want to tell you yes public static void test parameter meters okay just int a comma int dot 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 is a v like that yes perfect no it's perfect now you can see here if you try to add this to second method remove this last thing to be now you can get to try what is that a variable argument type int of the master test parameter two must be last parameters last one this is the second case related to varar methods. Example is same. You can see this is the example a case four. Let's see. With in the varar methods, we can take only one argument. That is, if we are trying to more than one varar math parameter, we can get compile time error like that in valid case we cannot declare inside the single method of the multiple parameters not this is the general method like the main part is there here is the int method right this is the varyarg method, mean method, call the varyarg method, varyarg method, this is the general method, it's calling. How this identify that, no? General method is calling. In general, varyarg method will get list priority, list priority, list priority that if no other method matched then only varar method will get chance this is exactly same as default case inside a switch inside the switch if no case is matched then default will execute same thing is inside the varar method if no method is matched then varar method take a chance to execute case 3 Case, three, case 6 is for the varar method we can provide the corresponding type of types corresponding type as argument like that corresponding this is the internal this is the external you declared but internally I have shown you no, in the ID it will take like this It will pass like that also, anonymous array. Case 7 is there. Case 7. So here, array, method 1, array, i. Compile timer cannot declare both method 1 and method 2 in the test. Single dimensional array versus Vergar method. Single dimensional array versus Vergar methods. Mm. 
wherever wherever single dimensional array present we can replace with the where arguments what is that meaning if any single dimensional array is present inside the method argument you can replace with that where are methods right then it's valid it's valid like that where is my pen okay like that you can declare like that. it's valid Mm -hmm. You can see main method. I'll just change that. This is the argument. No? Just dot 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 B. Just run this. If any error, it will get exception. If any exception. But it's not any exception. Perfectly okay. So we can change. Case two, where are parameter present? We can't replace with the single dimensional array. It's double is that ulta case. Agar apne pass where are methods? Hai. Where are methods? Hai. Suppose where are int. Not this. Mm -hmm. But the point is, we have a where are methods dot 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 int dot 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 a. So you cannot replace this to int like this. But you can do the reverse operation. So you can, we have like we have this, you can convert into this, but you cannot convert this to this. So that point here you can see in valid cases. Okay. So here is the some note point <clears throat> I have written to you, written for you. We can call this method by passing a group of it values. X will become Bundy and another day like this. Hmm. Number two, we can we can call this method by passing a group of bundy, one dimensional int and x will become two dimensional. Like that's a raise that is int two dimensional of x. So I will, in this case two is invalid. Example you can see. The static void method one having arg methods dimensional, it is like this dot 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 x. So here it's iterating into the array, printing this output like this. It's it become like int array and array. So last analysis analysis of our examples. Mm -hmm. So method one int this it's x is presenting like 10 comma when we pass this. If you have method one like int array dot dot like we have two array like this one two and we initialize int i with 10 int mf20 this we have decided this oh main methods so up to this we have completed so many topics and next session we will discuss about the main method so today we will take live class on YouTube. You can go and watch. We will finish today's this language fundamental because we have a lot more thing in the Java.
कोर जावा सो अब तो देर से क्लियर सो लेट गो वंस कीप इट हियर यू कैन सी जस्ट क्लोज दिस ओके सो नाउ अप टू दिस मेथड इज कमिंग हियर वी हैव अन इनिशियलाइज्ड एरे वी हैव सीन वी इनिशियलाइज्ड एरे सम इन एग्जांपल स्टैटिक वेरिएबल वेयर कैन डिक्लेयर्ड एग्जांपल्स केस 1 केस 2 केस 3 एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स आई हैव सिंगल डायमेंशनल एरे वर्सेस एरे आर वर आर मेथड फॉर दिस so up to this we completed how much we completed how much remaining let's see in the ppt yep here where are methods they we completed today we completed where are methods right and utilization <clears throat> is that is completed today today we completed two topics so total we complete <clears throat> like ninth topic we completed main method is very very important topic so if you want you can join the live today today's tomorrow sessions okay सो तब तक के लिए साइनिंग ऑफ फिर मिलता है नेक्स्ट वीडियो में इट मींस टुमारो इन द लाइव सेशन यू टू ओके जस्ट एंड टुडे आल्सो आई विल शेयर दिस होल पीपीटी विद यू ऑन माय ग्रुप व्हिच इज अवेलेबल इनसाइड दैट व्हिच इज अवेलेबल इनसाइड द Yeah, you can get in the video description also. Here you go and play this. You can see these two group are there. Here you can just send me the request. I will approve you. We will get the notes, daily notes. Okay, and daily videos also here I am uploading, like sharing a links, guys. so up to this is thank you we will meet tomorrow in the live youtube live and complete the method and language fundamental so tomorrow we will will take two hours three hours session so thank you and more videos please subscribe and share with your friends thank you